Oh my gosh, Diane, you've created a monster. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 13th. Daylight savings was yesterday. Hopefully, that will be the last daylight savings. Hopefully. We'll see. I, I don't know. But today, I got to the shop not real early. I probably should have been here earlier. But I had 16 eBay sales yesterday. So the listing on eBay is great. I have to pack these things now, um, which I don't mind. But I'm also, oh, I got it. I got a new little setup here. It's not, I guess it's not really a new setup. This is the, the little setup that we did for my whatnot sales, but I'm also using it to list for eBay. But Mark put these lights on the side here. So I turn them on like that and it turns on that umbrella light and those lights and I got that light. It still to me isn't bright enough. Anyway, I may have to, um, some of these things I do remember that have sold, but I may have to, uh, I know these sold. I, I may just gather up everything and then once I bring it over to the uh, to the to the desk I'll um we'll, we'll talk about what sold but I have I'm gonna gather it all now okay I've gathered it all and and like the past 10 minutes I've spent <clears throat> time opening up every wrong app on my phone <laughs> in order to get to my camera I opened up YouTube no gallery no Google no camera. It's Monday. <laughs> it's the day after daylight savings. So, and I stayed up way too late doing tax stuff. And that makes me not very happy. But anyway, what does make me happy is our eBay sales. So I'll show you. I, I, I pulled it all and I'm going to show you what sold. We have, I, this, I, I've had this for a while. This is Yo-Yo My Walking Kitty. If you are a child of the 90s, do you remember this? This, and look, the thing of it is, it's still in the box, but the best part of it, it's never been opened. Yo-Yo is still in her plastic bag. She is. She's never, she's never been taken out of her box. So that's pretty awesome. So sold Yo-Yo. And then I have uh, these sealed puzzles, which is something that I, whenever I, even when I wasn't listed on eBay, you know, I would still buy them. New sealed puzzles because they do sell. So here we've got this limited editions Monet puzzle. We've got the Springbok, especially Springbok. Springbok pu puzzles and the Melissa and Doug are great. But Springbok, uh, Bourbon Street, new sealed. The Melissa and Doug, 300-piece puzzle, new sealed. We have Little Miss Dainty. She sold. We've got these guys. I'm waiting on payment from these guys, but these um, chalkware, they're from the 1940s. These do have some repair and damage to it. The only one that doesn't have any issues at all is this smug little umpire here. Hmm. Mm, yeah. He's, he's in excellent shape. So those sold. Um, some makeup palettes sold. This, I could ever see at a palette. This is also another um, eyeshadow palette. Brand new uh, cosmetics. The Fenty Skin Riri came through. This has sold. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular sold. I also thought about keeping this one, but I'm not. It's anti-wrinkle. I need that lately. Um, also, this Skin Incorporated. This is Serum Glow Filler. This Ren Skill Skin Care. It sold as well. All these brand new, sealed, never opened. They came in my subscription boxes. I kept what I wanted, and I'm selling what I don't, what I know I won't use. Um, I used to keep some of this stuff, and then I was like, then I had just a cabinet full of stuff that I never use. So I'm selling it. The vintage Tupperware. Um, Measuring cups at these vintage Halloween buttons. There's a glare. I'm so sorry. These were, well, I'll post the, the, the sale uh, comp there on the, on the screen, but um, the ghost with the most, these are from the, the eighties. These are great. Want to go bump in the night? Hubba, hubba, hubba. That's a frisky little monster. Didn't sell for a lot, but these um, came in a big, huge bag, grab bag that I got. 
either from an auction or a yard sale or something that had tons of these fun buttons in it. So, um, you know, why not just list them on eBay? Get a little bit of something out of them. Um, I One of these big little books, this is the Tom Mix sold. I tried selling this on Whatnot, didn't sell. So I listed it on, on eBay and it sold. And then a couple of the belt buckles. This German silver rodeo button. It is marked German silver on the back. So that sold as well as this is, I have a, well, no, this is the only of the W. Harold Hancock um, belt buckles and the, with this inlay. I have a couple more of these. Uh, I think that are RJ, but these are, this one sold as well with the, with a bass fish on it. So all of these things, I'm going to get busy and we're going to ship them now. Oh, I forgot to show you these birds. These wooden birds, they also sold on eBay and I didn't show them to you. They're just like these little burl wood birds. So these we are going to, they're not going to be, I'm not going to lie. They're not going to be the funnest things to ship. They won't be difficult, but. I'm going to have to wrap them and make sure all their, you know, their little, their little beaks are all secure. So let's do that now. And I already know that you know, while you know, I'm going to ship these in a 12 by 12 by 8 box, which you can get these free from USPS.com. Um, I just got it in, in a quite a big of a, of a shipment in, which is a mess at the front of the shop. So I'm going to put some paper at the bottom of this box. I get all my shipping, all my paper comes in a big reams. I get them on Amazon. My bubble wrap I get from American Bubble Boy. You can use the link down in the description to save money on your American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. It delivers right to your door. It's great. So I'm going to take one little piece of American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. I'm going to cut it into some strips. So maybe wrap around some of these don't want to wrap it too tight because you don't want to cause any like fractures and shipping but I'm going to wrap it around his little head and neck one strip just to protect it a little bit the tape dispenser is all the way over there okay so we're going to wrap that little guy's head and then we're going to wrap this little guy we'll wrap his head You can also use paper, but I this was laying this piece of uh, bubble wrap was laying on the floor amongst all the other trash that's strewn all over the floor. Oh no, bird! And then this little guy, he's got the most curious little. You you make me the the worry. I'm worried the most about you. So that's just kind of step one. And then I'm going to take my same paper that I was using for shipping, and I'm going to wrap each bird in paper. going to tuck the paper around all of those kind of weaker spots. You can tape the paper if you want. I'm not going to. Then I'm going to use some of my American Bubble Boy bubble, bubble wrap. And I am going to wrap this in bubble wrap. I know some people might just use paper, but these, while they are not glass breakable, they're, they're fragile in their own in their own way because of all of the little weak spots that they have. So I am going to wrap these. It's just going to provide a little bit of pillowing and cushion. The paper as well provides some cushioning. Again, you don't want to do it too tight and you don't need to use 15 gobs rolls. I'm using like what? Three pieces of tape on that guy. That's you don't, uh, you're, you're wasting your materials if you're doing it overkill. All right, next bird. I take pride in the items that I sell, and I appreciate them and I want my customer to know that if they order something from me again, I will take my time to make sure that it is wrapped well. You know, they'll have trust in me that they can get their item safe. So we've got all three birds, didn't overdo it with the tape, didn't overdo it with all that. They're all 
packed securely. We've got our box filled with our paper. I'm gonna raise you up a few minutes. Then we'll, well, before we do that though, I will, one of the things that I, to me is important. Let's go down. Let's go down one more time. Is your calling card, which is your business card. So I'm gonna take this and this tool helps keep, it does kind of help keep the, um, the packaging intact. We'll put our, our business card on there and I add just a little something to the top. I am gonna go ahead and just put a couple more pieces of tool around the other birds, not real tight, but to me it just, I'll show you what I mean. When I get it in the box, it'll ju it just looks more presentable when you're, this is not taking any tons more time to just make it look a little like you care, like you put in a few minutes of your of your time. I have these little thank you stickers too. You can get them on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. Pop that on one as well. Now I'm gonna stick them in their box. Now I just raised you up. My head's still cut off, but so we use this 10 or 12 by 12 by 8 box that you can get free from USPS. I could have used a smaller box, um, but I don't want them to be crammed in together because they are kind of delicate. Um, so we want to, we're going to lay them in here just like that. And I'm going to put some paper on top. And definitely use any kind of recycled paper you have. Be very wary of newspaper because of the ink on newspaper. I, buying the paper, you can get rolls of craft paper at, um, at Lowe's or at Menards or at a Home Depot uh, type of place. You can get big rolls of it. It's it's pretty inexpensive. I, I mean, I'm all for recycling the newspaper and stuff. I'm a very, I'm weird with like textures and I'm a sensory person and I don't like the way newspaper feels on my hands. And the box is, I don't hear anything shaking around and moving inside. It's nice and secure, so I have every confidence that this box, I could throw I could throw this box across the room and I'd still be fine because you have to pack things like they're going to be tossed across the room because sometimes they are. When boxes are being um, separated and stuff at the post office, they get tossed, they do. So package them well. Um, and you won't have to worry about it. Do, will, will, will things still happen from time to time? Sure. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty confident that these birds are going to arrive to their destination in one piece. I wanted to show you, I got this little container here at Goodwill and I keep my stickers and all these kind of fun things in it for package topper. So that's right here next to me in my shipping station. So that's nice. Okay. But are you, are you buckled in? We're on this wonky Thing. I'm going to show you a couple things in shipping. Someone had asked if I would do a video on shipping and I've done lots of them before and I typically just add in a couple little bits and pieces, but let me know in the comments. Is that, would you want me to dedicate a, an entire video to shipping? I could do that. The thing of it is in the past, those have really bombed. They've been horrible as far as people wanting to watch them. So they take a lot of time and energy to film but I'll do them if you'll watch them. So just let me know in the comments. And if I have an overwhelming, but just make sure that you watch it. <laughs> watch it, tell your friends, because they take a lot of time to make and it takes up a lot of, makes me my shipping go a lot slower as well. So I'll make them if, you know, if it's gonna be all for, you know what I mean? I don't wanna make them in like five people while watch the video. I, one thing that I'm thinking about doing, and I don't know how I'm going to do this or if it was, if it's going to be smart for me to do this, but in my mind, I'm thinking I need to not shop this week. I need, I need, I need videos because I have enough videos till Wednesday and then I have nothing and I, that, that drives me crazy, but this shop in my workspace. Look behind me. It is a mess. So I need to spend some time in here cleaning up. 
But that would be boring, I would think. No one wants to watch me clean. So, and, but good gracious, this is a mess in here. I cannot, it's chaos. I cannot, I don't do well. My, my, my brain is chaos at all times. And I don't, I am not like the most organized person in the world. I know a lot of people think that I am, but I am not. But I don't like chaos. Like that, this drives me insane. So it's just, it, the floor needs clean. It's dirty in here. So I really need to spend some time straightening up this place, but I don't know when. So something has got to give, but, and I have a lot of inventory. So I don't need to shop. But the, the thing of it is, if you make content for YouTube that you're shopping, you need to shop. I know that I don't have to buy when I go, but you know that you do. You know, you are going to see stuff and you're like, oh, I, I, I'll buy that. You could go in thinking, I'm not going to buy anything. But you do. It is a mess in here. That's all I know. But anyway, what, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I'm going to be shipping out. Um, and then I have a sale today at one o'clock with Jamie Mid-Century Wasted. So that's today. And then I'll have to ship those things in the morning before my sales. I have two sales tomorrow with Michael. And then Wednesday, I have to ship everything from those sales, which leaves me Thursday and Friday and Saturday to clean in here or go somewhere. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but Right now, I know what I'm going to do, and that's ship these eBay orders. Good morning, friends, and happy March 14th. This is Tuesday, March 14th. I'm getting ready to go to the shop. I am going to go to Starbucks. It's Tuesday. It's live sale day. Um, I did have more eBay orders, so I will show you those when we get to the shop. But I know that you probably wanted to say hi to Maybell. <laughs> you do? Do you want Mommy to give you a chewy stick? She likes her chewy sticks. Is that what you want, baby? Tell me. Okay, chewy stick mommy. Oh, Fluffy, you. this is for Maybelle. Now watch, I'll give this to Maybelle and she'll be like, bye. Bye. All right, Fluffy, are you ready for your treats? <laughs> All right, so the, the the treats have been passed out to these guys. Let me give some to Mama. If she's out in the garage, let's go check. Good morning, Mama. You want treats? There you go. There's treats for Mama, kitty. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Her's good girl. Good girl, Mama, kitty. Well, I started to kind of get some Easter things out, but not really the way that I want to. I just kind of got them out of the tote. Um, so I'm going to try to get that worked on a little bit, but I'll show you what I've got so far. I already showed you some of this stuff last week, but I did get out um, this little wooden rabbit little toy. I put my peg dolls in this uh, little Easter basket there. I showed you that bunny that I got from Walmart last year. And then over here, I started to get out some of my haul. Um, Dad just picked up these two pieces. I am going to do a display. I mean, I might, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be on that shelf, but with some of these haul peach pieces, H-U-L-L -L, haul. He picked this piece up and this piece up. This is beautiful for $25 for, for both of them. I am going to keep them for now because I like them. Um, this one was sent to me by a sweet subscriber. And then this one I bought at Riverside. I think this is really, really pretty too. So I'm going to do a little display with those. I really like these for spring. I'm really in for summer. And then Tammy Christofferson last year made me a couple little Easter assemblages. So I got that little girl out there. I've got some of, uh, these were Mark's Smurfs when he was little. You can see his name on the bottom. Mark. Got my little bunny from Madeline Heavy Metal Trinket Queen in this little area, along with these two little bunnies. I've sold a lot, or uh, this, well, today is Tuesday, so today I'm selling the rest of my personal collection. I just had so much stuff, and I had to narrow it down. So I did keep a couple little pieces. I kept two bunnies and two chicks. I think these might be Knickerbocker. 
little bunny rattles. I had a subscriber friend send me these little bunnies last year. Oh, I got my leprechaun. Well, technically St. Patrick's Day is Friday, so they can still be out. And then um, this is one of my um, Amy's Rock and Pop uh, bunny cone dolls that I bought from her last year. And then I love the pottery of critters in this uh, celadon. This is not really a celadon green, but this in this um, like a jadeite green color. So I've got that little guy out there. Oh, there's Grogu. But I have some of my green stuff. I will put the green away here this week after St. Patrick's Day. But I did add in some of my little chalkware bunnies. These are just the ones that I decided to keep. It's a little dark because I haven't turned on the light. But these are the two little Knickerbocker chicks right next to my uh, leprechaun. And these are like little candy containers. I always put them there every Easter so those will have gone there. And honestly, that's all I have set out. So it's very, very simple. But that's okay, because simple is fine. Simple is fine, simple is good. My hair, I curled it, and it does not hold a curl. And it's very flat, so I'm gonna, we need something. We need something up here, much better. We need a little bit of height, we were a little flat up there. All right. So I am going to, I have to go to the, uh, I'm going to go to Starbucks and then after Starbucks, I'm going to go to the post office, drop off eBay orders, and then go to the shop and pack some eBay orders. And then, um, well, then we'll have to, we get ready for our, oh, I need to list. I'll pull some things to list on eBay. And then we got to get started on, um, we have, our, we have two sales today. We have our whatnot sale. No, we have our YouTube sale at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then we have our whatnot sale at 5 p.m. Eastern today. So busy, busy day. And let's get going. Hello again. It's me. Oh my gosh. It's me and the sun. Well, you can barely see me, but you can kind of see me. And you're a little crooked. Again, you're going to go for a ride when you're riding in the car with me. So put your seatbelt on. Keep your hands and feet inside the car. But let me tell you, I did go to Starbucks. It's Tuesday. It's my allowed Starbucks day. And I got an oldie but a goodie, the Caramel Ribbon Crunch. And it looks delish. And it's, it, I think it's going to be a great day because there was no line. I just pulled in. It took me like five not even two minutes to place my order and go through and I could just pull right out. I didn't have to do the whole turnaround thing. So I think it's going to be a good day. All right. I'm at the shop and um, I have like six orders that people have not paid for on eBay, which again is kind of annoying, but the two that did pay are, this is a little um, pretty, fitter water full glow cream and then i did list this piece of roseville yesterday the zephyr a pattern uh sold listed it yesterday sold it within i don't know an hour or so of me listing it so these two things have to get shipped so i'm going to ship them and then i'm going to pull at least five things to to list on ebay this morning We just got those eBay orders shipped and I have another thing that has sold and the buyer has paid. It's over here on my eBay shelf. I really got to get this stuff organized. This is ridiculous, but let's see if we can find it. Okay. Oh, there you are. This is Yogi, your fortune. I paid $5 for this and an ant. Okay. This is a perfect example. Okay. Perfect example time here because I get a lot of comments from people that are like, well, you can never find anything to resell at an antique mall. Not true. Almost everything that I sell comes from an antique booth. Now, I know that I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to pretend that, you know, I do have people that follow me and then they'll go in and they'll buy things from my eBay. But I've been selling things for a long time on eBay and I was still then, even before I had a social media presence, I was still finding things in antique malls and reselling them. The thing that it is, it's all demographics. 
So I live in an area where mid-century modern, this kind of stuff isn't, it's just gonna, it's just gonna sit. People are not going in looking for things as, you know, mid-century modern and kitschy decor. It's just not the thing. Primitives and that sort of thing in my area is huge. So those types of things in the antique malls tend to be a little bit more expensive. I know that I can buy things that might be not very popular and the antique booth has had it for a long time and they'll price it accordingly after a while. And then I can sell it to someone on the West Coast, uh, you know, or someone in another country on eBay and I can still turn a profit on it. So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of it's demographics. A lot of it is taking the time to go out and do that. And that I do this full time. I'm a full-time reseller, so I make parts of my day where I'm spending an entire day in an antique mall or several antique malls looking for things to resale. If you're a hobbyist seller, I understand that you're not, maybe not have that much time to commit into, you know, searching things and looking things up and doing your research, but you can still find things to sale, to resell at a antique store or an antique mall. So don't think that you can't because there you can. Case in point, this guy paid $5 in an antique mall and I sold him, I think for 40, I'll put the comps up on the screen. So that's a nice profit there. This was that little uh, napkin holder with this uh, Swami or fortune teller. It's just the cover plate. So this might be the piece that someone needed for the restoration of their little yogi fortune telling machine. So yeah, that's a pretty good profit. But don't discount going into antique malls and finding things for resale. You have to look. It takes some time and you do have to do some research on some things. But you can still find things that you can flip for a profit in an antique mall. All right. So I have pulled this clear skin vitamin booster this Lovebirds by Pretty Vulgar, the Lefton Mr. and Mrs. Toodles are, are listed now. This is a Schaefer and Vader, very rare German bisque um, little matchbook or match holder. Uh, these are worth quite a bit of money. So I, this one is listed. I think I listed it at $250. Uh, with best offer and I'm gonna wait on that because I don't feel like shipping it <laughs> and um this is one of my favorite mugs but I don't ever use it so it does have some value this Loretta Lynn uh she's the coal miner's daughter she was born the coal miner's daughter in a cabin on a hill in Butcher Holler Kentucky see she was born a coal miner's daughter oh there that's her famous song I know every word to uh, Coal Miner's Daughter, the, the movie with Sissy Spacek, every word by heart. You don't want to watch that movie with me because I will annoy you. Um, just so I'm now I'm getting ready. It's 1230. I'm getting ready to go over and have my YouTube sale getting set up to come over here for my whatnot sale. And I'm going to go try to make these listings live real quick. I took the pictures and did giraffe and I'm going to go over there and see if I can make it go live before my sale. Whew. Well, that was a full day of sales. Um, I did get a few things listed on you. I think I only did four or five things. Um, and I am getting ready to leave. I had my YouTube sale. I had my whatnot sale. I haven't had anything to eat all day because I do this to myself, but I am getting ready to go home so I can have Amy's enchilada. I have to ship all, these were from Monday sale, so I have to ship all of this, all of that, and everything that's over there on those three shelves. So it's a lot, but you know what? I like it, and I've decided that I'm not I am not going to go to the auction tomorrow because I don't need to. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff and I need to focus on, um, I, I won't be able to sleep if I don't get my shipping done and I got a lot to do. So I'm just going to come in here and have a good time shipping. It's going to be a good time day, but I'm turning off all my lights and getting ready to go home. The great thing about daylight savings is that it's not dark yet so in the winter time i'm here till dark but not not now 
it's still it's still daylight out. I could go do more things. No, I'm not. I'm gonna turn the lights off and I'm gonna go home. And I'm walking backwards, which is not a good thing for for me to do. Okay, let's go home so we can see Mark. It is early, early on Wednesday morning. I got to the shop early because there's an auction that I want to go to today. And I'm going to get it started on my shipping so I can at least get some of it done. But I had some eBay sales and I um, wanted to go ahead and show those to you. Okay, so I've got these things here and I'll pop up on the screen um, what they sold for. This little um, uh, salt and pepper shaker. She's missing the uh the, the boy but a lot of times people need the bike and they or they need the girl so she sold this cambridge glass bowl uh, back to the future hoverboard these are some more of these little this is loot crate these shot glasses some more makeup they sold to the same person and then this is the second little round of buttons that i've sold do you guys remember book it so we've got Book It, and this is the Year of the Reader, 1987. So those are the things that sold, and I'm going to get them shipped. Well, I am now on my way to the auction. <clears throat> I, de I decided last night, or yesterday, while I was at the shop, that I'm not going to go to the auction. I don't need to go to the auction. And then I looked at the pictures, and I'm going to go to this auction. There are lots of swung vases. Oh my God goodness there are a lot of swung bases lots so I'm my fingers are crossed my fingers my toes anything that I can physically cross that will bring me good luck I'm gonna I'm gonna cross so okay we are off maybe we'll get some good glass today here's open so I'm at the auction and I missed a, a floor swung base sold for $340 so that's more than what I want to pay for it but lots of stuff here I'm kind of thinking about all the shipping that I have to do so I don't know how long I'm gonna stay because I gotta get my shipping done the auction was great I got my swung base that I bought for myself buckled up for safety i got lots of stuff i got lots of stuff it was a good auction i spent a little bit of money it is now one o'clock and i'm gonna run into riverside real quick then i'm gonna get back to the shop and do some shipping so i probably won't be vlogging anymore today because i got a lot to do i'm home now i ended up getting half of my youtube sale done in the morning i did all of my whatnot shipping but i didn't do finish the rest of my shipping so i'm gonna finish shipping tomorrow there's mark say hi mark I'm going to finish my the rest of my shipping in the morning, and it's been a long day. So I'm going to try to get a video edited, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit tomorrow about some things that I think I might be trying differently. I'm going to try to get my video edited tonight so I don't have to do it tomorrow. I did not get any eBay listings up today, which really makes me mad at myself because I'm trying to at least put four of them up a day, and I didn't have time to do that, so... Maybe I'll put eight up tomorrow and make up for it. There's Mabel. Mabel is waiting for... Mabel, you need to go pick up all of those toys. That's pitiful. Oh, there he is. Say hi, Mr. Fluffer. Say hi to everybody. Good boy. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Today is March 16th. It's March 16th. I've been at the shop for a while this morning at least a couple hours but I got all my shipping done see it back there and I'm uh, getting ready to put on some labels labels and I'm probably gonna take a trip over to the post office today to get that all shipped out but I have some friend mail right there that we're gonna open today so I'm gonna get everything kind of squared away bring those things over we're gonna <clears throat> do some friend mail but I'm also going to Pick some things to list on eBay. I didn't list anything yesterday. As I as I said, I told you guys that I didn't list anything. So I'm going to get all this lighting stuff set up so I can um, do that today. And I'll just give you a sneak peek. I mean, I kind of showed... I went to an auction yesterday. There will be a video of me going to that auction. But I did get... Well, I got a lot of blue. I got a lot of blue. Let me show you what I got. All these things, that huge, ginormous thing. It's cool. I got a big swung vase. 
I, that I'm keeping. Oh, I got some Fenton up here. I got some quilts down there. I got these canisters here for Emma. She wanted those. Gosh, it just doesn't seem like that's a lot. I spent a lot of money. Doesn't seem like I got a lot for my money, but which is one thing that I wanted to, to discuss a little bit. And that was, I'm, I'm, well, I have a lot of stuff. You know, I, I have a lot of stuff. I have just shelves, 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 and all of these things up here that are kind of left over from when we, our brick and mortar was open. We've got all of these things. Now, a lot of these things are big and I'm not going to be bringing them to a live sale, obviously, but I've got pottery, which I've talked about doing a pottery sale. I've got ball jars. I've got stuff. So, the, and I've mentioned this before, but when you are doing what we're doing in your creative content for YouTube and you're going out and you're shopping and you're filming your shopping and you're blah, 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 and all that, and the shopping videos is what everybody, those are the videos that do well. Those videos, if you're making content, you're trying to get people to want to watch your videos and you're, and people like to see you shopping and spending money. They like to see you at Goodwill. I don't know why, but they like to, they like the thrifting videos. They like those sorts of things. I need to not shop for a little while. Yes, that's the fun part of being a reseller is shopping, but I need to sell. I mean, and I do sell things. I sell things over 80 things every week, but I need to take the time back from where I'm going out and shopping and spending money and turn that big into spending some time here and organizing and selling or or just having another sale. Instead of spending an entire weekend going on a shopping trip, I could have an extra sale and make some money instead I instead of spending some money. So, I mean, I spent well, I went to an auction and I went to an antique mall yesterday, almost a $1,000 yesterday. And that's like a typical you know, shopping trip. And I, 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 I need to focus on the things that I have because I have a lot. So uh, who knows? My views will probably all go down and people will say, oh, I only like the shopping videos and I don't care about any of the other stuff, but I'm going to have to figure out something else to do where I'm here and I am, um, I'm cleaning off shelves or I'm pulling things. So I think what I'm going to try to do is instead of me putting out a weekly vlog, I think I'm going to film a couple days, put up a video, film a couple days, put up a video. So it'll be very much like what my vlogs are, but it'll be kind of in-house. Now, listen, I may go run over to Riverside somewhere local and I'm, I pop in for 10 minutes because, you know, I can do that, but I'm not like going in driving for three hours and you know I'm gonna refocus my time a little bit on staying more here and taking apart things and deciding things that I, maybe I just I, I need a list on eBay because I'm listing on eBay now so trying to reconfigure my time so I'm sorry for the next couple weeks listen I have I think I do, I have some shop with me videos that I've already filmed that will be coming out, but here moving forward, as far as going on big shopping trips for a while, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to stay, I'm going to stay in house for the majority of the time. I'm going to try to do it. Um, so I've got books to organize. I, I, I just, I need to, I need to stay here more. So I'm going to still be putting out content, but it's going to be more like, well, what's Misty doing these two days? And it'll be, you know, popping in. I might be, I'll be doing some shipping. We'll be doing some eBay listing. We'll be pulling things for sales. So you're going to be doing those things with me and I'll make those as part of a vlog, but I'm just not going to put any shopping content out at least for a couple of weeks. I got to refocus my time a little bit. And who knows? I mean, it may just be where, you know, the shop with me videos may just be when I go. I'm not going to like say, 
sit back and say, oh, I got to go shopping. I got to get content. I got to go shopping. I got to get content. And if you do content like this, where you're out shopping all the time, you know what I'm talking about. I got to go get content. I got to go get content. Now I know a lot of people probably don't have the problem that I have of having all this inventory left over from having the brick and mortar open and they have to go shopping to get inventory. But I have a lot of inventory. I have a lot. I, a lot. This is just me thinking out loud. And I do this a lot. And I do things sometimes off the cuff and I don't think fully about them. And next week I could be, no, that's stupid. But for right now, this is what we're going to focus on. So like I said, I will have some videos that will be coming up of shopping videos. But like one of them that's going up, well, you're watching this on Monday or Sunday. I put one up on Friday. I still had blonde hair. It was an old video, but I'm running out of those. That's what I'm trying to say. That, I think that will be my last blonde Misty video. Other than on my second channel, I still have a Palm Springs video from when I was in California in January that I haven't edited yet. That'll be up on my second channel. Speaking of my second channel, I have all of these blind bags that I've been buying and blind boxes and Disney doorbells and Shopkins that I haven't even opened yet. So I need to film that video too. I got things that I need to do and I what I don't what I don't need to be doing is going shopping and spending more money when I can focus here Liberace. We can focus on what we already have. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try my best. And I hope that you will watch and not abandon me because I don't have a shop with me video up. Because everybody likes those. My sale on whatnot next Tuesday night is going to be all vintage and antique books. So I have to start going through some of these books and getting them ready for the sale. I've got some books back here too in the back of the shop amongst all the chairs. So I'm probably going to look through some of these. I've got some old German Bibles. Anyway, I've got this. Well, let me show you. It's this smash book. These are kind of collectible. They have like different colors. Um, I think this sold for $25 or so. I'll pop it up on the screen. But it's like a journal, like a, almost like a junk journal book. So that sold on eBay. So I'm going to get that shipped out. Then I'm going to open up this friend mail. And I have to do a haul video. I've been pulling things for next week's sale. And I'd like to film a, a, something for my second channel. So, and I need to film. This is another thing that I'd really like to do too is film the content like my Nancy Ann storybook dolls that I've been researching, I've been reading, and I've been researching, and I'm almost ready to get it filmed, but I haven't had time to do it. So I want to be able to do content like that. I wanted to do a little deep dive on the Polish peg dolls, maybe a little bit on um, Florence ceramics, maybe even a little bit on like Holt Howard, things like that that don't require me to go out shopping when I have a lot of things here already. That's just my, I'm what I'm thinking about. They could all change tomorrow, but that's just what my mindset is at the moment. All right. I said that I was going to do my friend mail, but I'm, I'm going to list, do my eBay listings first. And one thing that I've been doing is I've been going to here towards the front of the shop, where it's kind of the things that I don't really, doesn't really excite me much, or it's just kind of weird things like that I know have value and I know I, 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 did, I just don't want to bring them to a live sale like light fixtures. I did list one and I sold it within the same day. So I'm going to grab this one. Kind of similar to the other one that I sold. Um, it has this brass, um, what is that? A brass face plate. And so it would have hung on the wall like that. I think, or I guess it could have hung upside down, but it has this milk glass sconce. And I sold it, I think, for like 70. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I also have like, put that there, like this milk glass shade. I've got uh, probably 10 antique typewriters back in the back. One of which is this one, which is one of the very first types of typewriters ever made. This guy, look at how the, the keys go up instead of out. So you see how the key, watch this part, it goes up like that. We had it in the shop for $225, but it is from 1890. But my gosh, it weighs a lot. So, um, but 
I'm probably going to list something like that here very soon. So if someone has a, um, a Hoosier cabinet and they're looking for their flower thing, maybe I'll take this. I had $85 on it in the shop. This would hang on, it would hang like this on like a, a seller's cabinet or a Hoosier cabinet. It has the bracket. So I think the bracket alone you know, is worth a little bit just because the bracket, people are always missing parts and pieces. Look at these little miniatures. This one, the um, the little cabinet doors, look, it has glass. I don't, oh yeah, okay, it went up there, like that. And it has the original glass. Let me see if the other, okay, so it has the two glass doors, but is, well, maybe this is supposed to be open. No, there's little dowels up there, so that would have had. But I don't think that this... Oh, oh, I just dropped a piece. I don't know if it was a salesman sample. It could have been. And this is a little dresser here, but I don't know what happened to the knobs. Not unless the knobs are inside the drawers. At one time, it probably had little uh, wooden knobs that were glued to it. All right, I gotta get going. I've stayed here longer than what I wanted to. But I did get lots of things listed on eBay. So I've got some more belt buckles, these like Western style belt buckles. This is a Kentucky chauffeur's license from 1963. That's another belt buckle. This one right here is German silver. I've done pretty well with German silver ones. I already have an offer. I just listed this. Um, I think it's a keychain. It says the Terminator with the skull. It's T it's Ray Ramsor. I don't know anything about it. I couldn't find it anywhere. But I tried it. I think I listed it at $25. I already had a best offer for that. So that, I don't know. This is a Studebaker coin. It is a commemorative. It says 1902, but very, 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 very faintly, you can see it is a Franklin Mint from 1984, I think. This is the, the money right here. This is a Shields Fifth Avenue. This is a German made on the bottom. You can see it's made in Germany and it has the patent pending. We've got the little kickstand here. So it sits up like that. So it's like a purse or a pocket travel watch. It would have had a little chain right there. It keeps time. It's in this little leather um, little case here. This is worth about $300, and I, I listed it, and, and um, I already have some watchers on it, so just stuff that I've just had sitting around here, this is what I'm talking about. I have all these things here that I know I'm just sitting on all this money, and so I've got to start paying a little bit more attention. I did list some more light fixtures. I ordered or this one. I already showed you. Um, a longer burger. Uh, pottery, I did list that, um, is the Hoosier cabinet jar. A lot of things listed, but now I need to go home. Oh, see, I still have things in these bags that I haven't even put on the shelf yet. I need to go home and make dinner. And then I'll be back here. Um, I'm going to do some more listings, Get go to the post office again. Tomorrow, I will do the unboxing of the friend mail because I didn't have time to do it today. All right, it is night, and I realize I haven't really shown any, hardly any fluffer. Oh, he's saying hi. We're just getting caught up on some Adam the Woo. He's being very, very cuddly tonight. He usually gets on my lap and sits here for like five minutes. Then he gets up, and he goes somewhere else. And then about 20 minutes later, he comes back up here, sits for about 10 minutes. Then he gets down. Go somewhere else. Comes, it's all. It's it's like a broken record. He is a good, good boy. Well, happy Friday. What is today? Today is Friday, March seventeenth. TGIF. Happy St. Patrick's Day as well. It's St. Patrick's Day. So today's part of the vlog. I've got. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a card. Six friend mail packages to open and a card. So I thought I'd go ahead and include them as part of this vlog. I'm gonna spend the day today getting things ready for my sales next week. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today. So I wanted to go ahead and open up this friend mail since you guys were so sweet 
to send it to me. This first card I have is from Tracy. Tracy lives in West Virginia. Just a little note to say, Red Hot Mama. Thank you so much for sending me the little Yorkie. Oh, yeah, okay, so um, Tracy had sent me a message when I opened up some of the, um, the, the little pets, the little puppy in my pocket, and I had lots of the extra Yorkies. So she said, oh, I she said she wanted one, and I just sent it to her. I asked for her, and I just sent it to her. She just said that she wanted to send a little note to tell you, tell me how fabulous I look with red hair. Well, not so much today, but thank you, Tracy. I do appreciate it. And I'm glad that you and Gizmo can enjoy his little alter ego. Brenda lives in, oh my gosh, Brenda. Well, she lives in California, but I can't, I can't pronounce that. Oh my, I know just the look of this little box. Brenda's letter. I'm typing this note because frankly, my handwriting, handwriting is crap. <laughs> I tell you, you guys are my people. Uh, these are the dolls I emailed you about. I hope you like them. I loved that they were so little. My grandson Bronson wanted to send the little cutie. He said, oh, Bronson, Bronson. When I open up this little one, I'll thank you again. But thank you, Bronson. Yes, Bronson, no Cupie left behind. I'm also enclosing a couple of pictures of Bronson. He lives with me Monday through Friday. He's my light and joy. I won't share Bronson's pictures, um, but I do. I will look at them and I'll see how adorable he is. He's in kindergarten and he'll be six this month. He likes it when you make dolls and animals talk. Thank you for all the amazing content and laughs. Okay, so I'm gonna look at these adorable pictures of Bronson's. I'm not gonna share them with you. Oh my gosh. Bronson. Oh, you are you are a light and joy. Oh, and I see you like Spider-Man. What does Spider-Man do? Isn't that what Spider-Man does with his he throws a web? This little box says, Merry Little Maid, Eyes of Baby Blue, Forget Me Knots and Bloom, Make Me Think of You. I love that uh, Nancy Ann dolls have those little um, things on their little sayings or poems or nursery rhymes. Um, on the boxes and this one is number 127. I don't know if this is the one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is the one that goes with this box because Brenda has included several. But look what Bronson sent me. Bronson. Is it a cow? Or a raccoon? Let's see. Bronson will put it right here above this big Easter bunny's head. I gotta take that bunny home can't really see it, Bronson, but he's back there. That Easter bunny I, bu I bought for myself to put in my Easter displays and I've not taken it home yet. All right. So we've got some Nancy Ann's. Okay, so this one is, she is in her original box. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is composite. She is marked Nancy Ann Storybook Dolls on the back. Look at her. Oh my gosh. See, I need to do my video on them so I can take them all home and um, display them. I have a shelf just waiting on them. This little girl or boy, are you a boy? You're losing your pants. Oh no. See the hair? I don't know if the hair has been cut, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. They really, really are. And they're so, these are so little. And they've got even littler ones, little babies. Brenda, thank you. And Bronson, thank you as well. I really appreciate it. Got a card here. I like Misty. There is the card. Because I always, for, I always can never find it. So this is from Paula. Paula also, she lives in Virginia. All right. I'm opening up. Oh, this is like Cuban side of a box from Paula. Oh. oh. My word, Paula. It's a Mae West mug. When I'm good, I'm good. When I'm bad, I'm better. That's not what this mug says. Oh my gosh, I love this. Is that a gun in your pocket? Or are you just glad to see me? Mae West, she was the queen of sass. Did you know? Like, I need to do a video on Mae West. She was fascinating. She was like in her 60s and older. She was like, oh, th I wrote this play and this part is for a 20 year old and um, I'm gonna play this part and I I'm 20, but I'm really not. Love Mae West, 
loved her sass, loved that she didn't give a rip. She did what she wanted to do. She didn't care. She was like, I'm 70, but I'm 20. Okay? Thank you, Paula. I need to go make me some coffee so I can drink out of this mug. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank you so much. I love stuff like that. Anything old Hollywood, you know, that just gets my, I don't want to say gets my blood going, but you know, gets me all excited. All right, this one, next one is from Deborah Gall. But anyway, I was saying, my, listen, I'm going to tell you right now that my brain is not functioning fully yet. Um, I have been out of my, my beloved soda pop, so I haven't had that, and I barely had any coffee this morning, so I'm a little, but I think every once in a while, everyone likes to see, um, off the rails, Misty, and that is me this morning. This is from Deborah. Deborah lives in Nebraska. This is a pretty card. This is a pretty card from Miss Deborah. It says, Misty, I hope you can use the ribbon that I am shipped shipping to you. I watch your YouTube channel, but I don't buy any items. You never have to. You just watching, commenting, just watching. That's, that's good enough. Um, I have been watching for over two years. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Deb. Oh my gosh. Deb. Yes. It is a whole bag full of ribbons. You know what, Deb? You just helped me and you saved me money because I... I like to put ribbons on my packaging and I buy them. And now I've, I'm set for a little while on ribbons, thanks to Deb. Thank you so much, Deb. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Paula, I didn't even open your cart. See? Misty's off the rails. Paula's like, she like drew all these arrows for me to look at her card. I didn't even read it. Off the rails. It's a pretty card too. It's all sparkly. Paula sent me Mae West. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Boop. It's a little like pop-up card. Misty, love watching you. You make my day. I love Mae West like you. Fall fondly, Paula. Paula, all us weird Mae West lovers. Because you know, a lot of people didn't care much for her, but I did. She did not give a rip. I'm 19. Be a 19 year old. This next one, I'm not sure if what, what this is. Because it's, it's, it looks like it's from like a business. So I'm like, did I order this? I don't know. We're going to see. Hopefully there's a, there's some, I don't know who sent this. I hope that there is a card somewhere in here. Gosh, I can't, oh, there it is. Hang on, before I take it out of the box, I'm going to see who this is from. Let me tell you, Mark has today off and he's going to be here today. He's going to love it. Okay. Hi, sweet Misty. Please enjoy your microphone. You can use it when you're at the shop and Mark doesn't need to know. You bring me joy and I love you from Diane Husani. Diane! I had one of these at one time, and it mysteriously disappeared. But he cannot throw away or donate or get rid of Diane's microphone that this is now going to be referred to as such. This is just like the one. This is just like the one that he wouldn't let me get. Do you like a sweetie to hell? My microphone was ready to pair. My old microphone did not light up. Oh my gosh, Diane, you've created a monster. Hello. Oh my, that is big and loud. This is the thing that I do not need. But Diane, you just made my day. Ooh, what does this button do? I don't know, I'm just pushing buttons. That's kind of how I get through life. I just push buttons. A major, a major echo. echo. This, this is, is fun. fun. I'm going to use this all day. This is, lights up. This is legit, Diane. This is a legit microphone. I have a couple more boxes to open. All right, going on to the next. I need to tie a string so I can put it around my neck. I'm going to turn it off for now, Diane, but I'm going to be playing with this a lot. You're going to see this microphone a lot. And it comes in like a little, a, tr 
I can take it with me for travel. Diane. That was the best thing ever, Diane. You were probably waiting for me to open it, weren't you? I, I, I kind of gathered all these boxes and was going to open them today. This next box, I know who it's from. And it was shipped to me by Anne Amor Amy. Look at the stationary, stationary alert. Stationary alert. Amy says, hope you love the Cupid doll from Glowy Girl. Glowy Girl. And I like Amy's stickers too. Look, we all know that. Winking an Esco Kitty. There is Amy's information, which is the Enamor Amy. So go make sure that you follow her on Instagram and YouTube. Oh my word. Okay, first of all, look at the box. Now, this had to have been a hard decision for, for Glowy Girl because Glowy Girl likes the dolls too. But So I feel very honored. This is a cameo doll. Oh my gosh. Look at this little cameo cupie doll. Let's get your little in your hand oh my goodness this is a jesco um cameo dolls cupie goes shopping from 1983 look at she's got her little heart purse and her little sailor dress she's adorable she is marked cameo on the back i am taking her home and i'm putting her with my other larger cupie dolls Thank you, Glowy Girl. I love that. Thank you so much, Glowy. That that was so sweet. I was, I was, I really liked her during the sale. Sometimes we, I mean, we can't, can't just jump in there and get the stuff. Thank you, Glowy. I really do appreciate that. You're so sweet and so kind. So now we're gonna open Mary's. We're gonna open Mary's box. Paper. All this paper that I will reuse. So this was a gift from Mary, which is red. We call it red, but it's Atomic Redhead on Whatnot, on Instagram. Mary, Mary Jones. We got a thing going on. Aloha. That reminds me of Freddie. Freddie Fines. Thank you so much for being my co-host. Everyone enjoyed it so much, and so did I. I'd love to have you on again. I, Red, I would love to be on again anytime. Um, I hope this little thank you is what you've been looking for. That's why it took me a minute to get it to you. Looking forward to meeting in person this May. It's going to be so much fun. Yes, it is. Look how pretty this package is, too. So here, her little package choppers. You know I love a good package chopper. She has included, and I like to do this as well. This is a, a vintage card. A little thank you card and she didn't write anything on the inside of it which is what I like to do too because then you can use it and give it to somebody else so that is lovely and then a little foamy heart and little mushy stickers and here is Mary's information she's atomic redhead on Instagram Facebook YouTube and whatnot <gasps> Mary I don't have this color. I needed it. I didn't have the blue one. So this is the Hazel Atlas, the gay rainbow little mini pictures. And I didn't have the blue and I needed the blue. So Mary sent it to me. There, that was so sweet. And I love, I love, I love these so much. They're so pretty and happy. And I like them because you can find them and they're, you know, there's something that if you want to collect all the colors, you can find them and they're not too expensive to go out and hunt to add to your own collection. But I love them. And so I'm going to take that and add it to the rest of the gang. Thank you so much, Mary. That was very, very kind. And I would love to be on anytime again. Just send me a message and let me know. Um, which she does a little talk show on whatnot. Um, I think they're on Wednesdays. I think it's Wednesdays with Red and talking a little bit about reselling and things on whatnot. Thank you guys so much for, thank you, Paula. Thank you guys so much for sending me all of these lovely things. My babies, Branson, I got my babies over there. They're out of my reach. But thank you guys. Thank you, Brenda and Paula. Thank you so much to Carol and all the ribbons from Deborah. 
I can definitely use those. Thank you so very much. Um, but please know that you don't ever, you don't have to send anything. You don't have to buy anything. Just you watching the videos and commenting and giving a thumbs up. Maybe sharing with your friends. Hey, you might like to watch this person. That sort of thing really, really does help a lot. You, you, you hear a lot of YouTubers say, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And the sharing part, is a big part of it too. So we really do appreciate it. I am having a sale with Michael um, on Tuesday. So I'm going to kind of pull some of those things out and put them on the cart so I can show you, give you a little bit of a preview of the things that I'm going to be selling this week on YouTube. And then my sale on whatnot this Tuesday at five, it's going to be all vintage and antique books. And I've learned my lesson for my last book sale. I'm not going to do as many I did a lot last time and it took me a long time because with books, you kind of have to show a little bit more to it. Um, and it does take a little bit more time to research some of the books. So I'm going to start working on that today. Um, and I will pop in and I'll show you um, some of those things that I've, I've grabbed. So I'm going to go ahead and get started um, getting my cart loaded up with, with things for next week's sale on YouTube and on whatnot. And I'll pop in once I get a little bit, a little bit more of that done and I'll show you those things. Okay, so I filmed a haul video. I pulled things for Tuesday sale. Um and I have some eBay eBay sales. So we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna throw in. I'm telling you, I'm off the rails today. We're going to pop in boop, some of the eBay sales that I had overnight. One thing just sold and they haven't made a payment. They haven't paid for it yet. At the time that I'm filming this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it. But let me show you. So uh, one of them was another belt buckle. These belt buckles do pretty well. Was it this one? I think, I think it was that. I had some of these loot crate things. The Doctor Who, no, Doctor Who, Spork, and this Borderlands patch set. And just as I was looking for that other piece... The other person paid for the belt buckle, and this sold. The Fenton Epern sold, I think, for $175. Hey, Mark, do you love my microphone? No. Tell, Di oh, tell Diane, thank you. Thank you, Diane. Yay! Well, I got the eBay packaging all done. And I've pulled things for Tuesday sale. So let me show you. And I, I'm i not going to show you. The, I, well, I might. I might. After I do this, I'm going to start pulling books. I start looking through books for Tuesday's whatnot sale. But let me show you. And I might just like show you a few things. But it's antique and vintage books. Both children's and non-children's. So if you like antique books, Tuesday, 5 o'clock p.m. But... I've got these fun things. So I'm just going to move them. Oh, I forgot I had those. Oh, I'll probably put these in a, another sale. Let me move these over here. So don't forget about them. All right. Well, first of all, I'm selling this big plush bunny. And look at Mr. Mister. So I'm going to sell those two things. I'm going to move the things uh, from my cart to this table so I can take pictures. So we've got big... Um, this is the Danbury Mint Cupie. She's got her little purse. This one is porcelain. I like the Jesco ones much better for my own personal collection. The vinyl ones are the ones that I tend to keep. Um, I've got a Dar 10, a little turtle planter. I think this is American Bisque. But I love this little pastel collar. Fenton, this does. This is one thing that I got from the auction. Oh, boy, that really does glow. And then I have this milk glass bowl. It's not, I don't think that it's Jeanette. I know Jeanette made uh, like a pink milk glass version. Or, yeah, but I don't know who made that one, but we got that one. And then I have these plates. Aren't these pretty for spring? This one is the Baltimore Oriole. And then we've got, I think you're a Blue Jay. Yeah, a Blue Jay. This one's my favorite. Oh, look at the color. A parakeet. These are all Napco. Um, I have another one that's going to be in the ten dollar because I bought it. And I didn't realize that the wing was broken. So it'll. I have another one, but it'll be in the five and dime. But all of these are all intact. This little pink. Well, he's kind of purple. He's like a lavender, pinky lavender color with those 
really pretty purple ears. We've got some um, uh, Rose Lane dog and the little Siamese cat. I've got, these are not vintage, but they're still cool. Pink acrylic candles, micro mosaic brooch, a little mourning pin. And then I have these two little fellas. Look at them. That one's playing the guitar. They're little cupies. That one's, they're, they're naked. They like to do things in the buff. I got some California pottery skunks. Three of the little um, sugared fairy babies. Look at the color on that one. Like an aqua teal and yellow. Very suggestive little fairy. And in blue. I thought this was beautiful. This is Hager. And it's this beautiful Madonna and child. So I think for Easter that might be really pretty thing for someone's displays. Double Blue Bird of Happiness Leo Ward 1993. And I'm going to do this little girl. Her, I got her in Ohio, but she's a little sachet doll. She's a little celluloid doll in her original little packaging there with imported lavender flowers. A handmade creation. Lynn White Incorporated, New York. So she's in her original box, but she's got her little floral sachet here. Her little body is that. I don't think, I don't think the rest of her body is in there. I think that's just, she just comes just like that. Beautiful pieces of Aransburg. I almost kept these because of the color. My mercy, those are beautiful. Beautiful. They are Ransburg. This one has the sticker on the bottom. So we've got the teapot and a cream dish. And then I've got, I do have some ephemera. I've got this 1969 E.H. Tepe uh, Company, South Bend, Indiana. Pretty as a picture. Let's see what you could have got in 1969. Look at the cameras. Ooh, thermoserve, sweepers, blenders. Oh my gosh, look at these little transistor radios. And the General Electric radios. Oh, wow. Look at that. I want that whole set. These are really nice, too. This one is um, from, gosh, are you? do you say on the side? Not, 14th edition, Small Homes Guide. It has to be from the 1950s. I'm not seeing a date on it, but we've got some colorful illustrations. But the majority of the, um, oh, wait, look. Oh, no. I've had that Kelvinator book. I thought that's, this one, other one was it. We've got some home plans and things like that, but just great mid-century modern things. And I also have this. This is Beauty Hints for the Home Decorator. And this one is all color. But, wow, it, it, this one has a lot of fun illustrations in it. Look at the decor. Let's look and see what's on the shelves here. We've got some Fiesta. Well, we've got the double bubble percolator there. There's more Fiesta mugs. Look at the little breakfast nook and the little laundry room closet. It's a music room. And then let's see, we've got different kinds of linoleum. Wow. The first floor laundry room. Look, she's got her little sewing goods in there. She's got her washing machine. I love this flooring. Look at this corner bathtub shower. Just fun. Okay. And then this, this is from 1926. It's a Needlecraft magazine, but I liked the advertisements and I love this kind of Art Nouveau cover. 1926 Needlecraft magazine. Beautiful illustrations on here. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty neat. I might, I'll have to look through. I might add something else to this. Oh, look, a baby. What little girl will be my mama? Tend me all day and tuck me in at night. She can walk. She can talk. She can sleep. Yeah, I can. Freckles secretly removed. Don't remove your freckles. Come on, girl. Freckles are cool. They're not a nuisance. You should keep them. You can also order, let's see, you could order this ivory white clock. Uh, for uh, 50 cents. Man. Anywho, I thought that, that was pretty cool too. So those, oh, oh, wait. The last thing is this beautiful, look at the shape of this. Now, the back of it does have some damage. We've got some damage there on the back, but it is filled with cabinet cards. And I don't know, 
I don't know the provenance of this at all. I don't know if these were a family. Let's see. I don't know. It's German. This is Covington, Indiana. It's daddy and, and his daughters. She does not look like she is messing around. But see, I need to kind of go through this because it looks like there are several cards underneath each one. See, we've got this in here too. I don't know. Honored couple. So I'll have to look and see. This is Mr. and Mrs. Harry Derringer. I don't think that that's them, is it? Look at that. Let's see. Okay, let me t let me be very careful and take this photo out. Please, oh, see, there's no name. I mean, if you look at the noses, I mean, I don't know how old this is. This could have been from the, you know, from the 40s. Let's see if it says. They were married 50 years, plan to celebrate their anniversary Sunday. So, I mean, looking at like the mouth, I bet that's, I bet that's them. This was Louisville, Kentucky. This is Indiana. So it very well absolutely could positively be them. I mean, she kind of has that same like mouth, that look on her face. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We don't know who this baby is. Let's see. Okay. What do we got? Congratulations to brother and Mrs. Harry Derringer, who has also celebrated their golden anniversary. I wonder if this is all their photos. That's her wedding picture. That's that lady. These must have been their flower girls. We don't know who these people are. Baby. Wow. So cool. That See, that still looks like her. I mean, I don't know for sure because I don't have any. These are all tin types. Ooh, now this one we've got the the like the mama holding up that baby. I wonder if that's a post mortem because that that little baby looks old enough to be standing or sitting on their own. It's pretty cool. I like I said, it does have some condition issues, but. We've got a little somewhat of provenance inside it. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. That's what gets my blood a going. I said that, that's the second time I've said that phrase today. And I don't think that's the right way that you're supposed to say it, but it excites me. It excites me. Those are going to be available on Tuesday. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start uh, pulling some books. I also need to pull some things. Actually, I did. I already pulled some things to list um, on eBay today. So I'm going to work on getting a couple listings up. Because I'm trying to at least list four things a day. List some more of these um, light fixtures. Because I've gotten, I've already had several people message me about the one that I did list. And they've, I've had some, I've sent out some offers to watchers. So I'm going to um, get those listed there. And there was something else I thought, oh, I've pulled some things that I knew were no longer listed on eBay. I've got um, this M&M's clock or phone and I've got some shoes and other things like that and I mean a lot of these things were things that we were going to list on eBay when you know a long time ago and we just never did got all kinds of like transformers and stuff I know that there's money in these bags and see that's what I'm <laughs> we got to spend some of the time on the things that we already have so I hope that I'll be able to do this and that you know my content will still be relevant but We've got to focus on what we already have. And I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to be a hoarder. I, but I feel like I'm being a hoarder. You know? So, I, let's, let me, I need to focus on what I have. Well, I'm going to, I'll pop back in when I pull some books. Um, but, so I'll go ahead and pull some books and have them stacked up. So I can start researching, researching them a little bit. Um, but I'm going to get these eBay listings going first. So, it is after 9 o'clock. We're still at the shop. Mark is cold and is watching Purdue lose. Probably going to lose. But I have to pick. I'm going to go over here and get it. And then I'll come up here to my computer. we got to pick a winner before we end this vlog. We've, I, we've spent the, the evening posting and creating listings on eBay. Mark has been helping me. 
oh gosh, I've we've probably I've probably listed over 20 new listings. So go check my eBay store out. But we got to give away this little uh, Shackman little uh, small wonder bunny squeak. That's our giveaway this week. Let me pull up the random comment generator and we'll give it away. Okay, so I've got it all set and ready to go. Let's see who's going to win. And it's gone. Oh, we got to pick a winner now. Maxine Niece. Maxine Niece. You win a little Shackman <laughs> squeaker giveaway. So Maxine, make sure that you send me your information so I can get your squeaker out to you. you send me an email, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com and congratulations congratulations maxine i'm looking like i told you like i'm off the rails today and look at my hair my gosh so we've listed quite a bit on ebay so that's good um tomorrow i don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow i'm gonna come here and do something well, good morning gonna... it is saturday march 18th it's saturday march 18th and um i am at the shop and i'm getting ready to pack up some ebay orders and i'll take you with me to um, get those, but I got a couple boxes um, of things that, oh, this has bubbles. This has packing peanuts in it. I hate packing peanuts. They make a mess. This is a, a whatnot order. They use pool noodles. I know a lot of people do that. I have never done that. Um, oh my gosh, we've got, we've got, Holly feel in here as well. I mean, listen, they're trying to get it here safe and sound. I don't use packing peanuts. Not, ha not had an issue. Okay, so I'm, I got these two from a whatnot sale. From the same, obviously from the same person. The glorious, a purple Viking cabbage swung vase. We have its sister in here. And we got its sister. Ooh, the purple one's just a little bit more squattier, but these are gonna be in um, probably next Tuesday's live sale with Michael. Mark just got here. Hi, Mark. And I'm also opening up a little, an order from Sticker Mule. Um, I do have a link for Sticker Mule if you're wanting um, some stickers for your business. They always send you these little samples and extras and stuff, but um, I get coupon codes. Well, I have a link for you if you want to buy stickers, but they will, um, I'm on like their email list or their text list. And like whenever they're running a special, like you can get 50 stickers for 20 bucks or, you know, whatever. And so I like to put these as branding on my boxes. So I got those. But one thing that we haven't done yet before I end the vlog is we haven't picked something um, for this week's giveaway. And so what I do is every Sunday when I put up my vlogs, you have a chance to enter to win. So I'm giving away a little something um, each week. And all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. That's the first thing. The second thing you need to do is you need to um, give this video a thumbs up. And the third thing is leave a comment. That's it. That's it. So you will pay nothing and I will send you your vintage. I'm thinking I might pick something from my um, auction winnings. Let me turn the camera around. Got all these things that I want at the auction. Why don't we do, let's do this little double bluebird of happiness. Little double bluebird. This is Ron, no, Leah Ward 1999. It's an itty bitty one. So make sure that you comment, make sure that you're subscribed. I do check. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed and you are leaving your leave a thumbs up and you comment on this video. And next week we will see who wins the two little the two little bluebirds. All right. So I gathered up the things that sold. I had this um, National Parks jigsaw puzzle, the Luna Magic, um, which is some sort of a lip gloss, I think. Kat Von D lip or lip pencil, eye pencil, and this is a concealer. It's sealed, still sealed, and not not expired. And Jay Jay popped in and bought these. Thank you, Jay. 
um, this little lips, lip gloss duo. And then these um, cast iron trucks. This one sold, I think, for 105 and this one sold for like $34. i will pop the, um, the, uh, the, the sale links up on the screen. But yeah, these are just sitting on my shelf. Just sitting on the shelf. Um, all, all of these things were, have been sitting in my shop for who knows how long, and I've just been sitting on them, essentially. This is why I'm putting myself on a buying freeze. Now, that's not to say I'm not going to go in and I'm not going to, you know, pop into Riverside every once in a while, but I'm going to stay local here, just if, if I need to, you know, if I just need to get out for a little bit. But um, this coming week, I will still have a few more Shop With Me videos that were filmed before I made this decision, and then after that, we're gonna we're gonna buckle down i do go to vegas in a couple weeks and um i you know i will be exploring a little bit there as well but i gotta crack down and start really focusing on the things that i already have because uh, i don't want to be a hoarder and i'm feeling like i'm a hoarder a little bit a little bit so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go i'm gonna get these orders packed thank you guys so much for um for being a part of the vlog this week let me straighten you up there we go you're still crooked there we go. Um, I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to get these pick, packed up. I got to go to the post office. So I have to do, do that. I'm going to do um, a little unboxing on my second channel. And then I got to edit this video. So don't forget to, um, to like this video and leave a comment so you can have a chance to win the little double bluebird of happiness next week. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some drama, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a bald head, a man, part his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot